Hi, for today's tear down, uh, old uh, school device from F Poland, the uh, Nazwa Wairoba Signalizator type RS70 from 1975, just like me. So we actually have here uh, old uh, radiation alerter device. And this device is still uh, possible to find on eBay for a uh, quite a reasonable price of around uh, 30 euros. So just search for RS70 in the eBay military collections categories and we'll find it. So we have obviously new hot stock, uh, some uh, rubber seals and spare light bulb, the device itself and two banana plugs here, banana jacks, but they are stuck in this so I will not pull them. Here is what the device looks like. Uh, Brown uh, Amberton case, very uh, Soviet kind of uh, design, but it is actually Polish. The switch here seems very Soviet also. Uh, so we just have one function switch between uh, off, test, and three levels of uh, sensitivity. Uh, light, uh, alarm light, speaker, or buzzer. Standby light on the selector between light and buzzer. Plug the ear to charge your batteries that we will insert in here. So actually they are uh, the diameter of D cell but you can fit two and a half. D cells in this, so I believe it is for special kind of battery. So, uh, I will now power it on in order for you to see what happens. I have no uh, radioactive source strong enough to test this, I believe, but uh, in the standby mode, well, battery test, you have your alarm light blinking and you have your standby neon light here in the middle blinking also. If I switch uh, on the buzzer position you can hear it is pretty scary and you cannot have uh, light on buzzer at the same time. If I switch on to one of the working positions actually you just have a standby light blinking and nothing will happen until you reach the level of radiation you want to detect. And it is all. Pretty simple device. So now uh, on the other side we have the instructions in Polish. I do not uh, speak Polish. You can see there are a lot of Z, Y, W letters. So maybe it might translate pretty well. I will scroll on it for you slowly. Okay. Now, time to have a look inside. Okay, so to open the case, it is just a matter of undoing four screws. What can we expect in this? Uh, pretty, uh, very old school, even electronics, I guess. And yes, the strap here is made of uh, pure uh, cow skin, so not vegan at all. What do we have? First, uh, inside the cover, just a quality stamp and some reinforcements. 
Rubber Seal et All Around en Duke can see. Very very old school circuit board with thick tracks and some kind of brownish lacquer over the tracks. It is written here upside down RS70, the model number of the device. Okay. And we just have four screws to undo. So can we expect to find uh, only Polish made parts or a mix of uh, Polish and the Soviet and uh, something else parts? We will find out. Excuse me. So here we are. How to open this like this? Okay, so here is what we have. First, in here, the metal plates are just for covering the battery compartments. We have the function selector switch, same very uh, Soviet design. Also, this uh, button here to select between. Uh, Speaker on light, but actually it is written in uh, not in Cyrillic characters. Seems to be of Soviet design, but with uh, non Cyrillic characters. Interesting. Little board here. Just in here we have the uh, neon bulb. Very regular uh, thin capacitors here. The speaker or buzzer is obviously written made in Poland. And I guess here is the Jeser tube. What do we have else? Uh, the main board. So the resistors first. They look uh, red like. Uh, Regular Soviet resistors, but yes, these ones have a Soviet factory logo on them. But the other ones are written in uh, not Cyrillic characters, while we have a K number logo in a circle at the same time. Interesting. The Stereoflex capacitor here is made by MyFlex. It is a Polish brand. One more of them here, Styroflex. Very old school ceramic uh, trimmers here. And what else? So here, one word piece. Looked like a capacitor, but it is a diode. And here also, one other diode in a word package. Uh, Mika capacitor here. This looks, <coughs> excuse me, very much like a Soviet capacitor, but written also in Western characters. About the transistors, you can see here at the back, uh, very unusual model number on these transistors. BCAP11.15 167 and we are left with on this PCB this thing some kind of a toroidal transformer I <coughs> guess to make the high voltage for the power supply uh, really really weird piece Okay, so no time to access to the uh, business and the uh, treasure tube which must be located down here. So for this, I have to find the screwdriver and undo, I believe, two big screws one here and one here. Yes, I might be able to pull on this thing. 
I need to free this wire loom, okay. Here we are, uh, so you can see this uh, big re resistor here with uh, Omega brand on it. And here we have, obviously in a very thick uh, lead shield, the Grecher tube, which I will access for you. So it seems you will only detect gamma rays with this device, really. So get them on eBay while they are still available if you want one. Because I am not sure of how many of them are still around and available for sale. Currently they are up for sale, so it is why I did remember I have one in fact. I got mine a long time ago and even I believe I had two of them and I did sell one. I did receive two of them at the same time. And I managed to sell one for the price I got both of, of them, so this one did cost me nothing. Excuse me. Only slotted screw here, no uh, Philips screws bullshit. And here is our fissure tube. I will zoom because really nice sticker on it. P I E dub dash uh, something 51. Here we are, dub dash 51 dead code of uh, July 1974. And it is all uh, here is how thick is the. Uh, 1.5 millimeters maybe the uh, uh, lead shield is is it lead ah maybe it is actually yes it is a steel core with a layer of lead over it you can see here how it is applied on the steel core okay and only two contacts on this device, quite interesting, you can see the inside works here. There is actually a tube in the tube. So the uh, ionization uh, ray which will uh, come across will uh, create a spark probably in a uh, gas or something like this. And, uh, will uh, allow a current to flow or something like this. Ok, metal nipple here. And it is all. Uh, uh, here is the uh, back contact for the bulb. As you can see, same bulb we have in uh, here. And it is, uh, ah, maybe I didn't forget to mention, look at this, uh, these are most probably old school uh, total amp capacitors and they did uh, include some kind of uh, plastic pieces here to uh, prevent them from shaking loose. Quite a nice touch, it is actually pretty efficient. Uh, first time I see this, but uh, I do not think using uh, such uh, total amp capacitors in a military device is a good idea because they are uh, notorious for failing, usually short circuit, and sometimes even taking fire. So not the best uh, thing to use. And for some reason here some wax over uh, these parts. Also interesting uh, devices to uh, attach here the wire loom, which is on the list. And I did not have so two or three unconnected wires. Here they were made in the wiring loom, 
not used. Maybe it is for another model, but they did make only one wiring loom. Okay, so I hope you did enjoy this uh, little teardown of a Polish radiation alerter. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.